Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another very exciting FNAF movie news video. In today's video, we got a whole, whole bunch of brand new footage for the FNAF movie to take a look at, spanning a whole bunch of different TV spots because that's right, if you're watching TV, you might see a commercial for FNAF soon. So if you're excited for all of this brand new FNAF movie content, scroll down, subscribe to the channel. There's always FNAF movie news to talk about, and especially as we get closer to the release, there's gonna be a whole bunch of brand new TV spots. A whole bunch of brand new promotional material, it's going to be crazy. So once again, subscribe so you don't miss out on that. While you're down there, hit the like button. Alright, well now let's move on to these brand new TV spots, which... There's a lot of them, actually. So because there are so many, we're just gonna take things slow. Let's start off with our first one here. Now this is in a different language, so we don't really need the audio, it's more the visuals. So we got Vanessa and Mike having a conversation once again. They start introducing some of the characters. Here we get an extended shot of Freddy on the stage, where he stands up. We get another shot of Bonnie in the supply closet. Chica, we saw this one in a recent trailer. Foxy, we've seen that in a trailer too. This hallway's brand new. I'd assume this is one of the hallways that leads from the dining room, as we can see here, some of the chairs and the, you know, the stained glass. And this leads down into where the office is. And there is definitely someone chasing after Mike here. And it seems like that might be Foxy. As we can see here, we get another shot of him running, the same shot I believe, but we also get a jump scare of him. That is so menacing. So it seems that this whole time when Mike is trying to get outside this exit, it isn't actually Willie Mafton who's chasing after him like other trailers may lead you to believe. It seems that at the end of this hallway, there's an exit and Foxy's actually chasing Mike and he's trying to escape. Next TV spot now coming from Hong Kong. Some shots of the pizzeria. These brand new shots of the animatronic characters in the dark with their glowing eyes. They are looking down at someone. There's going to be another shot of them also looking down. So we're going to speculate then what we think they're looking down to. But here we can see Freddy. We got Bonnie as well as Chica. Interesting that Foxy's not here. <laughs> William Afton. And then the logo. Moving on to our next TV spot. Off the bat, we got a brand new look at William Afton in the dark. We can see a bit more of him up close as he emerges into the light from the darkness. Look at that. That is terrifying. We got the Bonnies. We got Chica as well as Carl the Cupcake here. Mike running away again, probably from Foxy. He's injured, right? We can see his jackets all ripped up here. William Afton. Yeah, so it seems like that shot is really trying to make you seem like, oh, he's being chased by William. But trailers have a tendency to play tricks on you and splice together different parts of the movie to make you think one way, when in reality, it's the opposite. Moving on now to our next TV spot. Thankfully, this one is in widescreen, so we're not stuck with those vertical displays. And this was also officially uploaded by Universal on their YouTube channel. This is in their Five Nights at Freddy's playlist, unlisted. So first up, we get a rainy nighttime shot outside the pizzeria with the lights all up. New security guy. <laughs> Vanessa introducing herself to Mike, the characters up on the stage, more of them talking, more shots of the characters up on the stage as they're introduced, Freddy, <laughs> and we get a shot of Cat Connor Sterling's character, Max, once again being jump scared by the, uh, the dead child's arm. Bonnie in the supply closet with Hank. We can see this is an extended shot of the shot we just looked at in a separate TV spot. And listen, I know the eyes are pretty controversial here in the community. Some people think they shouldn't be glowing, yada, yada, yada. I kind of like these, right? In this situation, I don't know. I kind of dig it. Bonnie. Bonnie. Look at that. That's going to be such a creepy shot. We get an extended shot of that later on. And we got Chica and Carl. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh at that every time I see it. Mike, what the hell do you think that chair is going to do? Also, I mean, mad shout out to Josh Hutcherson. This is some pretty damn good acting. Look at his face. He's really terrified. So he's being attacked. Also, I love the shot, how it's like all zoomed out like that. It's kind of zooming in and focusing on him. That's a really good cinematography right there. I'm curious, who is chasing after Mike? Who is attacking Mike? What does he think he's going to be doing with that chair? He's going to like chuck it at the robot. Hopefully it falls over. Not sure what his goal is, but best of luck to you, Mike. Because clearly, I mean, doesn't look like he's throwing that chair in time. Ooh. He's not throwing that chair on time. Maybe he's using it as a shield. I don't know. Foxy. Foxy. Adorable, Abby in the ball pit. Yeah, very adorable, Kim, when they're biting down on my face like this. Yeah, so cute and adorable. Oh, I just want to hug them. Second TV spot from Universal. Outside the pizzeria, inside the office. We've hello? seen these. Mike first entering the pizzeria, looking around, saying hello. Look at these shots, man. Look at this shot, man. There's a disco ball. We're going to be jamming out. At Freddy Fazbear's with a disco ball. This shot is so, so cool. I cannot get over this shot. All four of the characters up on their stages, all together, 
Foxy, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, the showtime in between them. You met them yet? Vanessa, Mike, we've seen this. Foxy, Abby, Bonnie, Freddy, Freddy behind Mike, Chica. But look at this shot. This is brand new. It's Foxy walking around. Look at how menacing his footsteps are. Very slowly walking towards someone. I do also wonder... Some of the lighting looks a bit strange, but also they're doing a pretty damn good job at doing like 100% practical throughout this whole film, so I'd assume this is the actual animatronic walking around. If so, that's that's really, really good. Just look at that. You got Vanessa in the back saying Freddy's can get to ya. Can get to you. Mike in the saw trap. Look at these guys. Hey guys! What are you looking down at? This is the shot I was talking about. Bonnie, Freddy, Chica all looking down without glowing eyes, by the way. That's something a lot of people have picked up on in this shot in particular. I've seen some people speculate. This is my favorite theory as of right now. They are looking down at Willie Mafton as he's getting spring locked inside of the spring lock suit. I know a lot of people really, really want a gruesome, grisly death for Willie Mafton that we actually get to see like all the spring locks going inside of him and him, like twitching all around the place. But honestly, think about this. You just see like everyone's reactions to it happening. You hear the blood curdling screams of Matthew Lillard because he can do some pretty damn good screams if you've heard him. And the animatronics are looking down at him as he's being killed. These spirits go on, they pass, you know, their eyes go from glowing to just regular animatronic eyes. That could be a pretty cool interpretation of the spring lock scene. I would kind of like that. So as of right now, I think that's kind of the main theory going around what they're looking at. It could also be they're looking down at Mike who's fallen on the ground or something. You know, they're looking down at Abby as they're about to capture her and turn them into one of them. Your theories, I would love to know. That is it for spot number two. Moving on now to spot number three. Now the interesting thing about spot number three is that we actually get some Vanessa backstory. Instead of looking at the visuals, let's just listen for a moment. I love this place as a kid, but it's shut down. So Vanessa loved this place as a kid. So she's been here, which is maybe why she knows so much about what's going on. Going back to visuals though, we get an extended shot of all the characters performing up on the stage. Look at how happy Chica looks. What is she doing here? I couldn't find a sitter. Have you met them yet? What is she doing here? I couldn't find a sitter, which is strange because Kat Connor Sterling's Max's character is the babysitter of Abby. So maybe this is after Max and all those guys go into Freddy's and now Max probably dies and therefore Abby doesn't have a babysitter anymore. I don't know. It's just some food for thought. But anyways, we got a very cute scene of Max and Abby making a little makeshift, you know, like little sleeping area for her. A little <laughs> fortress out of all the chairs and the tablecloths. We got Mike looking into the curtains, finding the characters. Abby looking around, finding Freddy once again. Security hires never last. Security hires never last. Vanessa has some damn good lines in this spot, man. Mike waking up again to everything glitching out. A brand new shot of William Afton cleaning his knife. Look at that. I really can't get over it. Let's just play this full thing through because we've got some brand new, really interesting shots of William. Look at how terrifying that is. Can we go home now? Can we go home now? So many interesting shots in this spot. Let's go back and let's take a look at William. Once again, we saw the knife, but we also get him emerging from the darkness yet again. Also, he's blocking the exit. So I would assume, of course, this is towards the end of the movie, maybe. Towards one of the later nights in the five nights here at Freddy's, where they want to escape. You know, escape from this crazy Freddy Fazbear's pizza place. But William is blocking their way out. More shots of the kids. Abby's saying, can we go home now? With Foxy and Bonnie both standing right behind her. Curious to know if maybe at this point they are deactivated. You know, the spirits have been set free. This is like the final scene in the movie. Everything's all happy. Everyone's got their happy ending. And Abby's like, can we just freaking go home now? You know, this whole mess is behind us. Let's just go home and relax. Maybe this is when she's able to befriend all the animatronics like we've spotted previously. It seems like she's pretty buddy-buddy, you know, pretty close with Golden Freddy. Maybe Golden Freddy is able to convince the other animatronics, hey, this one, this one's actually pretty good. We should keep her. This was one of the shots I was the most interested in hearing your guys' thoughts and theories about. So please let me know in the comments down below what do you think's going on. The fourth and final TV spot from Universal themselves. Once again, Vanessa starting off meeting Mike. New security guard. <laughs> she looks so happy to be there, man. Even though she probably shouldn't be. Some up close shots of the kids. What is she doing here? I couldn't find a sitter. A little bit of reuse shots here and there. That's fine. That's fine. You know, these TV spots can all be new footage. But we do got this shot of Vanessa turning on all the lights. What are you so afraid of? What are you so afraid of? We got Abby staring at all the animatronics. Them. Once again, this jump scare with the hand. 
my saw trap. What do they want with my sister? And then these guys looking down again. What are they looking down at? What do you got? What's so fascinating down on the floor, guys? I will say it's very menacing. I mean, just be imagine being that person they're looking down at. That's got to be absolutely terrifying. What do they want with my sister? What do they want with my sister? Brand new shot of Abby looking very confident as Foxy's cornering her. Because I would assume, personally at least, if Foxy's coming after me with his very sharp hook, I would not be as confident and focused as Abby is right now. It kind of seems like she's scolding someone, you know? Like, it looks like she's pretty mad at whoever she's looking at. I tried to warn Bonnie you. in the closet. Can we go home now? We go home now. Try to oh, warn you gosh. as well. Vanessa said, we tried to warn you. Who is we? Who is this we they speak of? Because really, it's only Vanessa coming in and saying, hey, watch out for these guys. They're going to kill you. So who is this we she's talking about? That is it from spots from Universal themselves, but we did get earlier today two more spots. We're just swimming in new content. First off, we can see the neighborhood that Mike lives in. Uh, yeah, I was just of course, with that. Abby, we can see her tucking her in. Gig. I will work security and you will sleep, gig. you understand? I understand. Them going into Freddy's. We must be new security guard. Getting Vanessa. Have Some brand new yet? shots of the cameras, actually. So here we can see the kind of utilidors area that people traverse. We can see the kitchen outside with some police cars, actually. The hallway, the supply closet, as well as the main stage. Have you met them yet? Who? Who? Freddy. Freddy. Chica. Foxy. We've and seen Bonnie. these shots. Who? <laughs> An extended shot of Mike getting killed by Bonnie in the closet. Frankly, this is why they have the glowing eyes for awesome shots like this. And Bonnie. And then when he turns on the light, oh, it is so good, man. <laughs> Very good scream as well by uh, our good friend Christian Stokes who plays Hank. Carl killing Carl. It's been a really weird night. Bobby, go! <laughs> sounds like- Been a, a really weird night. Like Freddy's. Oh, that just sounds like Freddy's. Vanessa, you savage. <laughs> Mike and the saw trap and then we move on Freddy's. to our final tv spot which unfortunately looks like this it's pretty low resolution i apologize but here we can see mike once again Hello. exploring the pizzeria finding the characters this shot looks so good a lot of people have pointed out this looks very similar to how the animatronics look in the fnaf 3 trailer which if that's true like if that's actually what they were going for with the references that's fantastic have you met them yet them Man, all up in the stage again Vanessa Hello? and Mike talking. Very interesting shot of Freddy. <laughs> it looks a little interesting, I will say. You know, as someone who's kind of defending the glowing eyes, some shots look a bit goofy like this one here. Abby, Bonnie. Freddy's. Brand new shot of Chica here. Seems like the same shot where Carl's in the kitchen. Can get to you. Freddy's can get to you, says Vanessa. What sounds like Foxy running. That might just be for the trailer, but I don't know. That kind of sounds like what Foxy would sound like when he's running down the hallway, you know? Plus, we get a shot of the floor. Oh, this looks like maybe Bonnie's ears in the shadow. I don't know. Because of the low resolution, it's a little hard to tell what's going on. I've seen some of these shots before. What are you so afraid of? <laughs> what are you so afraid of? Cut to Mike in a goddamn saw trap. Yeah, Mike, I'm a little bit afraid of that. But then literally as I'm editing, we get like two more trailer spots. So let's go through them. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's So starting off with Kim, welcoming us to Freddy's, Bonnie in the closet with Hank again. Mike, brand new shot of Mike in the saw trap. We're going to have so much fun together. I don't think so, Kim. Them staring down at us again. Yeah, seems like Kim was kind of the main focus in this spot. I wonder how much of a role she's going to play in the film. Because it does kind of seem like from all the trailers we've gotten so far, she is kind of replacing Phone Guy in a way. I don't think we're going to have Phone Guy in this film. Moving on to the second spot. Prepare to have your mind blown. Prepare to have your mind blown. Turning on the lights. Oh, there's the, the old security guard. Blinking Bonnie. Can we go home now? Abby still wants to go home. It's not the Freddy's. All right, interesting shots there. We get another shot of this guy. I do wonder if this is one big shot. It very well could be spliced together to make it look this way for this spot, but this could be interesting if this is how the old security guard encounters Foxy. And then we also had <laughs> Bonnie blinking. Look at it. He's so full of life. Bonnie blinks, boys. This is huge. And the final trailer, remember that low quality trailer we took a look at earlier in the video? Well, we now have an HD version of it, which we'll watch right now very quickly. 
Because there was a few in interesting shots Have you here, met them yet? like that one. Met who? Met who? Hello. All the animatronics up on the stage. This was the main shot I wanted to go back to. Because now that we can see it more high quality, we can see Foxy and Bonnie are back there with Abby. So I do wonder if this is that scene, right? It looks like they're all kind of in the same placement. And now Freddy is over here, maybe guarding Abby from someone. We do know at some point Vanessa goes into the hospital, right? We saw that in like the first trailer, I think. So stick with me here. I do wonder if at some point here, when William attacks the you know, Abby, Mike, Vanessa, if he's actually able to get past Mike and Vanessa and then eventually make his way towards Abby. But at that point, that's when the animatronics step in to stop him. I don't know. It's, it's a really, really weird scene because clearly they are protecting her from something. The only something I can think of is Afton. So I do wonder kind of like in the original Silver Eyes trilogy, if you guys remember that the animatronics actually fought off against Afton. If they adapt that, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like that. But now, that is going to be it for all of the FNAF TV spots. My god, there were so many. There were so many, and there's so many awesome shots too in them. If we keep getting TV spots, which I imagine we will, I'm not sure how much new content is going to be in them, but if we do keep getting them and there's new content, I'll keep making these videos. Originally, at the start of this video, I had so much other FNAF movie news that we had to talk about, but analyzing these new spots took up so much time i'm gonna save that and a bit more more fnaf news for a future fnaf news video so stay on the lookout for that thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye